What was the biggest gift given to you? Was it a bicycle? Was it a new dog? Was it an instrument? This is Creation's story. In the beginning, there was nothing. Except perhaps an enormous smile, but there was no one there to see it. Then, on the very first day, God gave us a gift, light. So now that there is not just darkness, but there is light and darkness. When God saw the light, God said, it is good. And that was the end of the first day. On the second day, God gave us water. This is a ferment. It divides water above and the water below. When God saw the water, God said, it is good. And that was the end of the second day. On the third day, God gave us a gift of dry land. God divided the water and the dry land and gave us a gift of green and growing things. When God saw the dry land and the green growing things, God said, it is good. And that was the end of the third day. On the fourth day, God gave us a gift of day and night. God gave us a way to count our days. When God saw the day and night, he said, it is good. And that was the end of the fourth day. On the fifth day, God gave us the gift of creatures that fly in the air. Not just birds, but all the creatures that fly. When God said, all the creatures that fly and all the creatures that swim, God said, it is good. And this was the end of the fifth day. On the sixth day, God gave us a gift of creatures that walk upon the earth. When God saw the creatures that walk with two legs, the creatures that walk with many legs, God said, it is very good. And that was the end of the sixth day. On the seventh day, God rested and gave us the gift to rest. What I do know is that this day is so special that sometimes the Christian people mark it with a cross and the Jewish people mark it with a star, the star of David. These are the seven days of creation.